Does that make sense? Let me think. Let me just try to say that one more time. So if we're in, let's do it just a whole new key here. If we're in the key of Let's do the key of um, E major. Okay, I'm not even going to write all the notes. I'm just going to walk us through this uh, with our with words. We're in the key of E major. Now we can figure out all of the chords that work in E major by thinking about the scale and the pattern. So it would be E major. We have to apply the key signature. So the next note is going to be F sharp, and it's the second chord in a major key, so it's going to be a minor chord, and then G sharp, and that's going to be a minor chord. So we just walk through the scale and we put the appropriate chord on it. Now, if we want to do that in minor, if we want to find all the correct chords that exist in the relative minor, what we need to do is first figure out the relative minor. Remember, our trick for that was to go down. Two, and that's going to be a C sharp because of the key signature of E that ends up being a C sharp. So it's C sharp minor is the relative minor of E major. Now, what are all the chords that are going to work in C sharp minor? They're going to be the same chords that work in E major. They're going to be the exact same. If you want to lay them out all in order, you're going to start the order at a different spot. But in the end of the day, the names of all the chords, C sharp minor, D sharp diminished, E major, etc., going through the whole scale, they're all going to be the same chords. The chords will be the same. Um, the order of them will be a little bit different, but if you're just trying to find what chords work in that key, all the chords in the relative major and minor are the same. The patterns, you can figure out the patterns if you want, you just have to start them a little bit different. Start it here and go through the major diatonic chord progression and you'll have all the right chords. Or you can memorize the pattern all the way up from a, in the minor key. That could be useful depending on what your um, how your brain works. Maybe you want to think that way. Now, there is another little wrinkle to this. Um, Sometimes this version of the minor scale doesn't quite cut it and we have to alter it a little bit. So let's, let's talk about that a little bit in the next video.